Hello and welcome to this video playing. I am ZXCVB. Not so good. Never give date backs. Okay, dokie. So I won't give you any take backs. <laughs> um, so what's the deal here? I'm trying a new line here against the exchange that recently got recommended to me. So <laughs> let's give it a try. The only critical move is. Uh, as usual, knight takes e5. If black doesn't defend the pawn, white should usually take it. Yeah, we'll probably see what the idea is because he will take it, I guess. Otherwise, it's totally uncritical. Okay. Okay, this is, of course, a playable option, but it doesn't scare black very much. So, what to do here? Move the queen, then castle long, or move the bishop. I can actually go to c4. I just rec recognize this idea. Hmm, not sure about it. <laughs> Looks a bit strange, but seems playable. to f5 okay maybe rook d8 uh, asking this d rook immediately what it wants to do check the idea is that the king now is able to defend the c pawn after a later bishop f4. Yeah, those endings are quite solid. Yeah, I mean, they're drawish. But, uh, yeah, it's, it's quite often a matter of. Yeah, trying to propose some problems to, to maybe get some, some more interesting play without being too, uh, <laughs> too ambitious, which happens to me quite often in those blitz games. I try to do something with black when there is nothing to do and you should rather just uh, play something normal and make a draw. Okay, we'll see what happens. One thing that irritates me a bit is that whenever I move the knight, this is possibly knight d5, knight d5, now I can take, and I'm pretty okay with that. Hmm. Hmm, not sure how to untangle him <laughs> okay I'll play a pass move Why is he going for f4? Now I can go f5. My fear was that after f5 instead of f6 that he can take up the knight d5 looking at the c7 pawn, which is not possible anymore now. Yeah, this should be okay for black. I hope. E5 is definitely okay for me. I 
That's an interesting try. Okay. I cannot play knight f5 here, unfortunately. I oh, might have f5 here. Whoa. F5, bishop f7, f6. Looks a little bit like a position out of the Berlin Wall. It has opened up already, which is nice. So I just have to withstand this uh, this attack here. If if I do, my position is very okay. and then bishop f6 something like that this is probably equal whoa what's the deal Trying to push this back. Not easy to get to the pawn though. Maybe this for rook d7. Oh, this is a deal. This is something I can do. Okay, it's not doing anything against it. If he trades a rook, I'm just better. Yeah, now I should be able to win that pawn. Let's see how to do it. Knight to d6. Probably this and knight to c4 is a good idea. And then I have bishop d5. Mm, okay. Oh, what's that? Taking? I guess taking is good. And now, let's see. I need to distract the knight hmm, yeah but I don't this bishop is, has a hard time to regroup that it actually attacks the pawn I can take bishop d6 but then after bishop e5 he will go f7 this is not good hmm. anyway White still has a hard time to do anything here. G5. Time warning. I don't really get around to that e5 square. Draw offered. No. Just no. I don't get around to it. Anyway, probably have to do this. Okay, now I can take this, take g5, but probably not having a winning position. It's close, it's close, yeah, this pawn is almost lost, but I don't see how I can get to it. Bishop d65 doesn't work, and he always has f7. Okay, maybe in that moment I just drop back. This is, this is maybe possible. And then I still get it, right? This, and I just drop back. can also try to put the bishop on h6 here if he's not careful for bishop c1. Hmm. 
Now I have no time. Absolutely no time. What's he doing now? <laughs> now he's got a connection issues. Well, when we're down to seconds. White forfeits on time. <laughs> Probably King C5 is a draw. Yeah, I'm not sure. I could have I could have done um, just like this, this, and uh, this now. F7, I drop back and, and oops, take it next. Probably still a draw, but um, yeah, it's difficult to press something out of those endings. I think. I'm still surprised that I'm not just winning flat out from here because the F pawn looks like it should drop, but maybe it doesn't. The engine wants to play bishop d6 now. <clears throat> yeah, this might be okay to win the pawn, but I didn't want to go to opposite colored bishops. Yeah, maybe this is really just not enough to win. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Computer wants to do this, probably intending to come around like that. Maybe this one. I played in a somewhat simple manner. Maybe it was too simple. Oh, I have king f5. Aha, I didn't look at that at all. Mm, that's embarrassing. King f5, I'm, ah, I'm a lot better than in the game. Whoa. Yeah, now he doesn't come to f4. That was a big, big opportunity. Yeah, I think an interesting moment was um, around here when he decided to play f4, which I found surprising. I was rather thinking of f3 or b3, those typical uh, moves that white plays in such a position. I thought here yeah, I should be in pretty decent shape, but it's probably not more than that. It's just kind of okay, equalish. <laughs> the engine just takes this pawn. I didn't consider the move at all because rook d8 looks so scary. Check. That you're stuck on the back rank, but probably there is nothing happening. Yeah, if the knight moves, I just go g5. Huh? Yeah. Okay, I mean, this is possible and probably will lead to some kind of drawish ending. Okay, so it was a win on time. Probably a draw would have been appropriate, but um, yeah, okay, I also saw no reason to take the draw when black is the only one at least having some chances. Okay, well, thanks for watching.